Okay, um, hello again everyone, this is Ithamar aka Itty for another video in the series of Rendezvous in France. Uh, today we're going to speak about French stereotypes, right? And I'm going to address whether they're true or not in my opinion in terms of what I've seen here so far. The first one is that all French people wear berets. So far, I would say that it's false. I've not seen many French persons wearing a beret. So, that one, false. Second one, all French men have that long mustache that you can do this and twirl. Again, I'd have to say false. Um, I don't think I've ever seen a French man with that kind of a mustache. Even, I've not even seen many with a moustache at all, so yeah, false for that one. Um, third one is that French persons love to wear scarves. Uh, I would say that is generally true. It's not the kind of scarves that you see where it's like all tight around the neck and hanging down kind of in a feminine manner for the men. Nah, neither the girls wear, neither the men nor the girls wear that kind of a scarf. Regular scarves, but I don't think anyone really leaves home without their scarves, even if it's not that cold. So that one I'd say true. Um, fourth, uh, French, there's a lot of mimes in France. So far I'm yet to see a mime. I think I'm a very bit, dis I'm a wee bit disappointed in not seeing a mime on the corner of the street doing his, his annoying routine. But, mimes, no, false. Uh, again, another one is that French people are rude and they are not very pleasant. For me, I would have to say that is a bit 50-50 um, in terms of the fact that I've met some that are very, very rude and not very pleasant, and I've met others that are very kind and helpful. Overall, I'd say it's just a difference in culture. It's not that they're rude, it's just that their culture is different. And being of the different background, we have to, as other um, nationalities, have to kind of understand their culture, to kind of understand where they're coming from. So I wouldn't say they're rude per se, just for being rude sake, but they're rude because it's their culture. I don't know. Yeah, I'll stick with that. Rude because it's their culture. That works. <laughs> um, another one is that all French people wear striped shirts, just like a mime. Uh, again, false. Not seen. Not seen very many striped shirts. No, have I? Mm, no, haven't. Another one is about French people and their baguettes. Definitely true. Ding, 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 ding. Everywhere you go, there's a bread out in the open, a long loaf being carried by someone. French people in their baguettes, like white on rye, can't separate that. Separ white on rice, can't separate them. That's how it works. Another one is that every French person smokes. Mm. I'd say that's 50-50. I've met a lot who smoke, especially young kids who smoke. Probably wouldn't happen in my country or in the UK. Um, especially openly, but I've also met a lot of persons who do not smoke, a lot of young persons as well, so I'd say it's 50-50, it's somewhat true, somewhat far, I'd say it's more of a generalization, because probably in France you probably have more persons who smoke than in other countries, but I don't know the stats, so I don't know, but um, I'd say from what I've seen, half and half. Um, another one is that French persons do not shower and they are like pip and a pew <laughs> but um, again can't say that's generally true in my opinion I think they shower less but they still at least shower at least once a day I think I do not know I haven't been living in any French persons bathrooms but um, I think they shower, I do. I haven't met anyone in general who has kind of blown me away with stench, but there are one or two people that, yeah, but that's in every country, so 
again an another generalization um, another thing is um, for example like how I'm stopping now and saying um French persons tend to say ba <laughs> like the sound that a sheep would make ba or uh, <laughs> like they're in a tranquil zombie mode <laughs> yeah that is true they do make those sounds along with another sound ooh la la yeah they, they do say that a lot a, very much in the middle of it punctuates every sentence like how we in anglophones tend to say like for example um, they also say comme ça and c'est ça a lot that means um, like this or is this it or yeah they, they say it or en fait in fact they uh, say those quite a lot <laughs> quite a lot um, another thing is French people are associated with dogs a lot I would say that's very true a lot of French persons tend to have a lot of dogs well not a lot but like at least one and French women tend to have little clutch dogs that they carry everywhere you would normally see persons walking their dogs in the street and a lot of dogs droppings are left behind because of that <laughs> so be careful if you're in France walking around yeah you gotta play hopscotch a bit um, another sound that French people tend to make which I forgot is the pfft sound for I don't know so they say shipper which means I don't know so if you say so if you ask them a question and you just go pfft that means I don't know <laughs> Um, French people are also associated a lot with fashion. I would say, yeah, they tend to dress better than most. Um, I think probably only the Italians could give them a run for their money in that department. They do dress very well. So, that I would say, true. Um, um, another thing is that when it comes to eating, they eat a lot of times during the day and they also stay at the table for long hours very true very very true they do have like five course meals sometimes six and they do t tend to spend between say two to four hours at a table lord help us when you're at a table <laughs> being an anglophone or someone who's not from a french background you're wondering when am i going to leave and then you see another dish entree pla um, plate coming up it's overwhelming at times folks but it's good it works you get a good feed <laughs> um, another thing is that the French are very much associated with perfumes true uh, most persons here do tend to use very good perfumes um, they do have good brands here in France and they do use them so that's a conundrum sometimes being that French persons are associated with not showing being um, having stench but yet still they are associated with perfume hmm don't know how that happened but I would say for perfume tick true um, another very popular one is um, French are associated with wine and cheese definitely so cheese goes with everything cheese it's a course by itself sometimes wine definitely you can't do anything without wine in France as long as you have it in meals so or wine and cheese. That's it, that's how it works. Um, another thing is snails, escargot in France. Yes, they do eat it, folks. It's not a lie, they do eat it. Not going there. <laughs> um, another one is um, frog's legs. Again, true, eat it. I won't go there either. Um, another thing is the croissants, very good, eat it a lot, but it's worth eating, trust me, so, yeah, true, croissants, a very big part of a French diet, just like a baguette, um, eat it a lot, common stereotype, I would say true. The final thing is that, um, the rest of the world tend to think of French men as being players or how do you say um, the type of guy that has many girls because of French is seen as a sexy language and French men are seen as a symbol of that sexy language in terms of how they speak 
along with the Italians. I would say, at the risk of seriously, severely, severely harming the ego of my French male friends, that is not true. French men are not good with females. Not at all. At least not in France. When they go elsewhere, probably works because of their accent and no one knows what they're saying. But in France, no. If they have a girlfriend, they're lucky. That's Itamar signing out. Cheers.